That is the transformation that's trying to take root in the death card. But you're so locked down on self-protection that you, you, you just don't even, you, you're not even receptive to it. Spirit's trying to deliver awesomeness into your life, Taurus. It is your duty as a spiritual person. And if you weren't spiritual, we wouldn't be doing a tarot card reading right now. It's your duty as a spiritual person to be receptive to the ebb and the flow that the universe brings into your life. There is soulmate, a soulmate person. I cannot say it's soulmate love, okay? Because very few and far between are two soulmates on the same rails headed in the same direction. But there is a soulmate journey that is about to manifest in your life. It does not have to be a romantic kind of situation. You could be poised to meet a best friend or somebody that that is just part of your soul tribe that came here to walk this leg of the journey with you. But there's massive, massive transformation if you will just let your guard down and be open to receive. Hey, everybody. It's Dana, the Gypsy Psychic. What's up? How's everybody doing? I'm really, really, really excited to do this reading because I look forward to this once a month-ish, give or take, just like you guys do. Look at that tower. Just like you guys, just like you guys do, right? I am a Taurus sun. I'm a Pisces moon. I'm a Pisces rising and a Pisces Venus. But I'm a Taurus sun, right? And I just really look forward to this as much as you guys do. It's a general reading for the zodiac sign of Taurus. If you have Taurus anywhere in your chart, this reading may resonate with you. Might not. Might not resonate with you at all. Because it's a general reading, right? And as we know, if you are a subscriber to this channel, you already know what I'm going to say. Because as you know, you can watch YouTube tarot card readings until you're blue in the face, but you're not going to get the information, the wisdom, and the guidance that you are seeking until you have your own cards read. That is the only way that you will know the intricacies of your own journey is to have your cards read. So take this all with a grain of salt, okay? Take it with a grain of salt. Don't be too serious about it, right? But if it resonates with you, I highly recommend that you get your own cards read. I have no idea what's going to happen here. It's going to be just as much of a surprise to me as it is to you. It's going to work like it always works. I'm going to shuffle. I'm going to pray. I'll lay out at least 15 cards. Talk about it as I clarify it. Sew together a story. If the clarification process gets too long or too in-depth, I will fast forward through it and we will pick up right where we left off, okay? All right, goodness, they wanna talk, you guys. They want to talk. Okay, I didn't even look what that was. It was face down and I kept it face down. All right, let's do this. Spirit, source, universal energy. I have the collective of Taurus with me. Spirit and Taurus wants to know what you know. What do you know about Taurus as a collective and what do they need to know? What's happening in the stars, Spirit, in the planetary alignments that Taurus needs to be aware of? How do they navigate for their best and highest good? What's coming towards them? What do they need to look forward to? What do they need to look out for? And most importantly, Spirit, how do they navigate for their best and highest good, the coming situations and circumstances. Spirit, I'm going to shuffle these cards just a couple more times. I'm going to cut three times and I'll pull straight off the top. Please arrange yourself in the way you need to be seen to bring Taurus the information that they need to know. Please give me the eyes to see and the ears to hear what it is that's going, that's going to be said in these cards. Where is, right there, the stopping point for Taurus. All right, you guys. Woo! That's how I channel. That's how I get focused and ready. Ready? Let's go. One, two, three. One, two, and three. Bottom of the deck. Prince of Pentacles in reverse. Stuck like Chuck somehow, some way. All right. Let's move those out the way. The Ten of Cups. 
Actually, can I make that better for you guys? I think I can do it like that. It's a little tilted for me, but it's better for you up here, right? All right, so the Ten of Cups, awesome. This is emotional fulfillment. Happy, happy, happy in your deepest emotional desires. The Princess of Pentacles in reverse, something perhaps that you've had an inability to manifest up to this point. Prince of Swords in reverse, scattered thoughts, death, a transformation. The Three of Wands, some foresight, the future, planning, waiting, sowing seeds. Six of Swords in reverse, baggage, stuck. Four of Cups in reverse, apathetic, stubborn. The Queen of Wands in reverse, in the center of the reading, needs not being met. The sun, happiness, success, and vitality to the two of cups in reverse. Some kind of imbalanced relationship. The ten of pentacles, um, the same as the ten of cups, right? Um, this is an immense amount of security. This is completion in security. Home, finance, future, foundation, security. To the Six of Wands, victory, progress, and success. That feels like two it is. The Two of Swords in reverse, crossroads, coming out of a crossroads, a truce. The Princess of Swords, communication or thought patterns. The Ace of Pentacles, a new opportunity. The Two of Pentacles, prioritization. The Lovers, choices or a significant relationship. Eight of Swords in reverse, a new perspective. The Four of Swords, contemplation. The Queen of Pentacles, security, title, all is well in the world. The Emperor in reverse, overbearing, domineering, inflexible. Uh, impossible to be the emperor, the hermit, soul searching, the queen of swords in reverse, salty, the empress in reverse, creative block, the hangman thinking about something, the chariot in reverse, oppose, the four of pentacles, control and stability, the king of wands in reverse to the ace of cups, ace of wands in reverse to the four of wands and justice. What's this? to the King of Cups, the Six of Cups in reverse. Okay, see, now we're repeating the Nine of Cups in reverse, the Eight of Pentacles, see, we're repeating, and then the King of Pentacles, what we have next? The Wheel of Fortune. Seven of Pentacles in reverse, right? Now it just repeats, it repeats, it repeats, it repeats. All right, we'll leave those, though, just for the, just for shits and giggles, Taurus, just for shits and giggles. All right. All right. Let's do this. I already super shuffled these, but I'll do it one more time for the skeptics, okay? Because I know there's some skeptics out there. Let's see. There. All right, Taurus. Woo! Woo! It's the world on the ground in the upright. In the upright. All right, let's do this. The Ten of Cups to the Two of Wands and the Page of Pentacles. All right. Woo-wee. The future manifestation, the Ten of Cups, ultimate happiness. First cards out. Sets the tone for the entire reading. Princess of Pentacles in reverse. Immediate short-term focus. Um, mm -hmm. Immediate short-term focus right now. To the Prince of Swords in reverse and scattered in your head because of it. Interesting. The Fool, brand new beginning, brand new journey. The Four of Swords in reverse, again, more mentally restless. To the Knight of Swords in reverse, more mental chaos, right? This is lacking organizational logic is what that is, okay? To death and ending a change, a transformation. See, the Two of Swords is reiterating this with, with mental confusion, but I'm putting it back in the deck the way that it came out in reverse because it might make itself more useful in the future because right here it's just repeating that, right? Okay, okay. Death, the Hermit, soul searching, introspection, transformation. What transformation is this, Spirit? What is the Death card? What is the death card? Oh, the four of wands. Your foundation, your structure, your harmony. Transformation of that. So what's being asked about in the hermit? Or what needs to be, what is the guidance in the hermit?
Okay, Taurus, this is what's going on. So, the Ten of Cups. Okay, this is the be-all to end all in emotional fulfillment, right? I mean, this is like happy, right? Happy, happy, joy, joy. Everything just jiving good in the feels, right? To the Two of Wands, um, looking into the future, happy about the future. To the Page of Pentacles, manifesting manifesting stuff this page of pentacles could also be a message that comes in to you about manifestation tell me about the page of pentacles please tell me about the page of pentacles please the ten of cups in reverse okay okay so broken home broken family broken feelings tell me more tell me one more yeah yep Feeling self-protective with the Four of Pentacles and conflicted with the Five of Wands. All right, so that's what this whole reading is about, Taurus. This whole reading is about you have an offer on the table, but because of past experiences, you either aren't believing it or you're really, really skeptical about it, okay? So the be-all to end-all, everything you ever wanted to the Two of Wands, um, future planning, building a future. What road are you going to take to the page of pentacles? This is a message that's coming in for some kind of creation. Um, it brings a message of prosperity, potential, an offer of prosperity. Okay. Brings an offer of prosperity. Page of pentacles in reverse talks about, um, a kind of prosperity that you have not been able to manifest in your past. But this also talks about immediate short-term focus to the Ten of Cups in reverse. Hurt feelings, self-protected, and conflicted, right? So you're in massive self-protection mode, okay? Massive self-protection mode. And you're like, well, what if this doesn't work out and my feelings get dumped all over the place in the Ten of Cups? Now, whether it's feelings, any kind of feelings, right? Any kind of feelings. What happens if this doesn't work? And my feelings get dumped all over the place. An inability to manifest. The page, the Prince of Swords or the Page of Swords in reverse. I'm sorry, the Knight of Swords in reverse. Um, this is um, being freaked out in the mind. Completely freaked out in the mind. Now, why? Because there's a new beginning and a new journey that is trying to take root in your life right here. Like seriously trying to take root in your life. A, a quantum leap in your life with the fool to the four of swords in reverse and all you can do is just freak out in your head to the knight of swords in reverse more mental chaos you know the definition of that card is lacking any kind of organizational logic and that's kind of what's happening here oh, i always do that and that's kind of what's happening here right you're just you're just like man i i either don't know how to get what i want to get or this message that's coming in is blowing my mind. Death comes in and says there is a transformation that is about to take place in your life. A transformation to the four of wands. This transformation is directly related to the long-term harmony and stability in your life in a relationship of some sort. Okay, here's you. The hermit spirit says, sit with us, right? Just like the fool spirit says, this is a new beginning and a new journey. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. And Taurus is all, no, I don't know about any of this. I don't know. I just, I'm not, I, I, oh, what if my feelings get hurt? What if, what if I get crushed somehow, some way? Spirit says in the term, the hermit energy, sit with me, sit with me and let's talk about it. Let's do some soul searching and some introspection. Knight of Cups in reverse. Let's worry about your fears of rejection. Let's worry about your fears and your feelings. To the Queen of Cups in reverse. Let's talk about your emotional insecurities. Let's dig deep and find out why you're still holding on to this emotional and mental defeat. Because there is transformation that has to do with your long-term happiness, your long-term harmony, stability, structure, um, possibly in some kind of relationship format, work, family, love, 
whatever your thing is, right? It's a general reading. I, I have no idea. If these were your cards, I could tell you exactly what's going on, but I don't know. To the three of wands, foresight, planning, sowing seeds, waiting, foresight to the eight of pentacles, building, engaging in something, gaining mastery of it, fixing it, making it better to the king of wands, success. So the three of wands, talking about having some foresight, talking about being able to um, um, look down the road and, and, and see, you know, kind of sort of the whole grand scheme of things as, as best you can and wondering how it's all going to work out, right? To the eight of pentacles, wondering if it can work out. To the king of wands, wondering if you will be successful, if this is something that you should engage in and if you will achieve and succeed. You're also wondering in the king of wands energy if this is truly sincere, okay? The six of swords in reverse. This is baggage. Stuck and unable to move on. So period. Drop down. New paragraph. Stuck. Baggage. Okay. This card says you have baggage. To the three of pentacles. In, when it comes to teamwork and collaboration. When it comes to getting together with another or a couple a people it is three but when it comes to getting together with another and and actually building something and working on something and making a plan for something eight of wands movement action and change this is what needs to change about you so you can engage in this phenomenal opportunity that's being offered to you a transformation with the death card, a brand new beginning and a brand new journey with the fool. Success and achievement with the king of wands. Working on it, gaining mastery, having some foresight for the future. The ten of cups, the page of cups. What's this guy? Oh yeah, and the two of wands, the future, right? But on top of this root reading, it's just all you being all crazy in your emotions and in your head. And Spirit says, this is your baggage. This is what's holding you back, stuck and can't move on. Too much baggage, okay? Too much baggage. The Three of Pentacles. Teamwork and collaboration is coming your way with that Eight of Wands. And with the Eight of Wands, you need to, you need to, you need to change some things about yourself. What do you need to change about yourself, Taurus? Well, the Four of Cups in reverse. Maybe your apathy, maybe your stubbornness and your emotions because you are caught on the Ten of Cups in reverse, the Queen of Cups in reverse, and the Knight of Cups in reverse, right? You are caught in some negative emotions. Maybe you're stubbornly caught in those negative emotions. To the Queen of Wands in reverse in the center of this reading, this Queen of Wands in reverse is about your needs never being met. It, it, it's about, it's about, see the queen of wands in the upright, she would never, ever, ever entertain or tolerate someone or something that didn't fill her chest with passion, right? Now, am I saying every single day of your life, are you filled with passion? That's just not possible. But she would never tolerate something that was not inspirationally fulfilling to her. In the reverse, she is insecure about her needs being met. And what you're saying in the center of this reading is, ah, it's not going to work out. I still have some kind of baggage, some kind of residual baggage that I have to deal with. And it's a defeatist attitude with the Queen of Wands in reverse in the center of your reading. An absolutely defeatist attitude. To the chariot, Major Arcana Spirit saying, push forward, push forward. We are presenting you with an opportunity and you are not taking action and we need you to take action because I forgot to tell you, synchronicity came up when I asked what the clarification of the death card was. Synchronicity came out of the numerology guidance cards and I'm going to go back and check. I'm going to read that because it makes sense right here, right? So, Needs not being met. Spirit comes in with the chariot and says, push forward. Nine of swords in reverse. The anxiety and the despair from the past, that's the baggage that you're holding. That's what's keeping you from manifesting 
the be all to end all in happiness and security. The painful lesson from the past, Ace of Pentacles, there's something new trying to manifest and all you can do is hold on to your mental and emotional woundings from the past. Whether this is in a relationship, whether this is in a work situation, maybe there is just things about you that you have not dealt with, emotional woundings from your childhood that you have not dealt with yet that are, that are a blockage for you to actually either create this awesomeness or accept this awesomeness. And I think you're not willing to accept the awesomeness, awesomeness and spirit saying, we're giving you awesomeness, Taurus. We're giving it to you. And you're like, no, 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 thanks. No. And spirit's like, oh my God, right? Take the awesomeness, Taurus, right? To the 10 of swords in reverse. It's two things. It's recovery and regeneration of your life. And it's also an inevitable ending. What's the end of inevitable ending? Well, this opportunity that's going to or is presenting itself to you isn't going to stay here forever. So you have to choose between renewal and regeneration of yourself and, and, and take the awesomeness that's being offered to you, or it will inevitably come to an ending and you will miss this boat. The sun, major arcana, spirit, telling you, we are offering you happiness and success and vitality in your life. The king of cups, this is your feelings, your feelings, Taurus. This king of cups is about emotional control, emotional balance, emotional security. And what this is saying is, A, come to terms with your emotions, right? Stop being in the reverse and come to terms with your emotions. And once you understand what it is that you are, are snubbing your nose at, you will understand that we are trying to bring you a new emotional experience. Okay. And I'm going to tell you right now, I'm going to give it, it's a, it's a, it's a, uh, what do you call it? Not a buzz kill. You know, when you tell the ending of something, shit, I forget. But anyway, um, spoiler alert, spoiler alert. There's somebody new coming in here for you. There's somebody new. As we get towards the end of this reading, there is love trying to manifest in your life and you are way caught up in this, all this bullshit right here from the past. Maybe not the past with this person, but you're stuck in the past and you are not letting anything new come in because you're on lockdown mode. You're like, no, don't want it. Don't need it. It was a painful lesson. Not interested, not interested in love, not interested, not interested, not interested, right? Five of Pentacles in reverse talks about a spiritual poverty. Okay. Your spiritual poverty, the gaping hole that you want to have filled, but you won't allow it to be filled because of self-protection. Um, the sun, happiness, success, and vitality. The king of cups. Somebody's coming in to offer you love, big love, and you don't see it. You don't see it because you're so walled off that you're going to miss the opportunity. Two of cups in reverse. An imbalanced relationship, a breakup, the king of swords. This is what you have to come to terms with. This two of cups in reverse right here. This is what you have to come to terms with because this is an imbalanced relationship. This is the baggage and stuck and can't move on over here with the six of swords in reverse. That spirit's telling you, you need to change your ways. You need to change your ways, ways of thinking and doing. You need to change your ways and you need to deal with the emotional trauma of the two of cups in reverse. That's why it's clarified by the king of swords. King of swords says slice and dice that shit. Get to the bottom of it. Be responsible about what's blocking your whole beautiful future right here. Get responsible about it. 
it's an imbalanced relationship in your life. It could be an ex. You could have mommy issues, daddy issues, child issues, whatever your thing is. There is an imbalanced relationship that keeps you guarded and stuck. And it is preventing you from seeing A, what's right in front of your face and B, what spirit is trying to manifest in your life. Ten of Pentacles. That's what spirit's trying to manifest. The ultimate insecurity. The ultimate in foundation. The ultimate foundation by which to build your future. What they're offering you is the Ten of Cups. The Ten of Pentacles. Your future. The Page of Pentacles. The Six of Wands. Ha vic victory, progress, and success. The Emperor. This emperor is about you, nobody else. This emperor is major arcana and it's spirit telling you that if you want to build the Ten of Pentacles and if you want the victory and success of the Six of Wands, you have to take control of your life. You have to take control of yourself and you have to be accountable and responsible. The emperor is about the authority, the establishment, and the structure of your life. And spirit is saying, if you want this, this is what you have to do. This is what you have to do. You have to get rid of the blockages that you are connected to from the past. You have to. Like I said, mommy issues, daddy issues, sibling issues, whatever your issues are, it's a significant relationship that was extremely imbalanced. And now you're guarded from it. And not only are you letting it control your past, but now you're letting it control your future as well because you guard yourself from anyone and everyone else because of the pain that you carry from this past experience. Okay? Spirit says with the Emperor energy, get control of yourself. Two of Swords in Reverse. Two of Swords in Reverse is like really massive ma mental chaos. Crossroads, don't know what direction to go. To the Seven of Swords. Seven of Swords talks about betrayal and deception, but it also talks about futility, right? It is just futile, futile for you to remain as you are. To the, th It's time to grow, Taurus. To the Three of Wands, have some foresight and look down the road. The Knight of Wands in reverse and understand why you have frustrations and delays in your life because you are your own worst enemy. Princess of Swords, this is this message. It's the same message up here, right? A message, Ace of Pentacles, to manifest a new opportunity. To the Two of Pentacles, future, balancing out a situation, taking it, taking it, prioritizing things okay okay so there's a message coming to you of the manifestation of new prosperity in your life and the two of pentacles says but you have to prioritize some things first what do you got to prioritize well the queen of swords in reverse your saltiness your sassiness we got to put that in. we got to get that in check we got to get it in check or or it's going to ruin this opportunity to the Ten of Wands in reverse because you have been struggling with this burden for way, way too long. The Page of Swords in reverse. All talk, no action, undelivered promises, right? You're like, ah, you know, been here, done that, not real sure. I want to do this again. Um, but yet you say you want and you pray and you pray and pray for the lovers, right? You pray and pray and pray for that. Um, but it's, uh, it's, it never happens, right? Because you're all talk, no action. You've got to clean some shit up to get yourself ready for this. The lovers, here it comes. There is a significant relationship in your life that is about to take root. Eight of Swords in reverse says you need to get a new perspective, though. The Four of Swords. Start start figuring some shit out and, and, and figure out what it is that you're going to change about yourself. To the Queen of Pentacles. So you can sit in this title in someone else's life. So there can be peace and groundedness and harmony inside of you to the world. The, your whole everything is about to change. 
Spirit is trying to bring a transformation into your life. The Six of Wands, victory, progress, and success, but you're inflexible with the Emperor in reverse. Inflexible. Knight of Pentacles in reverse because you're stuck. Again, Spirit comes in with the Hermit, right? And says, sit with me and let's talk about some things. We got to get this together. What are you talking about? The Queen of Swords in reverse, your saltiness. The Empress in reverse, your creative block. Your, your inability to let your walls down and let anybody in. To the Hangman, Spirit says, you need to think about this. You need to think about this long and hard. The hangman is about your personal will being broken. And that's what Spirit's saying with this card. They're like, Taurus, you need to let this go. You need to let this go. You need to learn what it is that you had to learn from it. And you need to push forward because you have beautiful things coming your way. And you're going to fuck it all up. The conflict with the five of wands. Tons of conflict. The nine of pentacles needs to come to a culmination. Why? Well, the Six of Cups. You need to reconcile your differences in your past and renew yourself from your past. Six of Cups is also about soulmate love to the King of Pentacles. Somebody's coming in for you. They're going to be that King of Pentacles to the Queen of Pentacles. And they're coming in. They're coming in. To the chariot in reverse. But there's opposition. Major Arcana, opposition. There's opposition. Four of Pentacles. Why? Well, because you're protecting yourself. Holding on to what you got. Don't want no more. To the King of Wands in reverse. From egocentric, self-centered, narcissistic people who have done terrible things to you in your life. Now there's always... Always two sides to that coin. And you are usually, usually. I'm not even going to say that. Uh -uh. Egocentric, self-centered people have done things to you in your life. And you need to come to terms with it. Let the past be the past and move into the future. Ace of Cups. Because there is a new beginning in love coming towards you. Ace of Wands in reverse, but you're, you're lacking the motivation to engage. The Four of Wands, structure, foundation, long-term harmony in a beautiful relationship with someone or something is trying to take root in your life. Justice. It's your justice. It is what's good and right and fair and proper in your life. The King of Cups who's coming towards you is like no other love you have ever known. They are going to love you in a different way. Might even scare you a little bit. Six of Cups in reverse. But you got to stay out of the past. You cannot stay stuck in the past. Nine of Cups in reverse. It's only going to bring you emotional unfulfillment and keep you crazy in your emotions and in your mind. To the Eight of Pentacles in reverse. Perfectionism, right? Holding that bar up high so nobody can reach it. Nobody can reach it to protect yourself. King of Pentacles. It's coming in though. This is coming in for you. The, the counterpart to the Queen of Pentacles. The King and Queen of Pentacles. They're the ultimate domestic partnership of the tarot. This is what's coming in for you. If you want to look at the King of Pentacles as Taurus, as the card of Taurus, this is ensuring long-term goals and success, material satisfaction to the devil in reverse. Releasing limiting beliefs. What are your limiting beliefs that every person or every situation is going to do to me what happened before and I am not willing to participate in that and I would just frankly just rather just rather not. And Spirit is saying we are trying to point your life in the direction that your journey is supposed to be going and we need you to get on board. We need you to get on board to the Wheel of Fortune. An absolute utter 
turning point in your life and in your destiny. In addition to the world card, this could be moving. We have the eight of wands. It could be moving somehow, some way to, to get this kind of happiness and this kind of security. But nevertheless, spirit is trying to change your world and you are so self-protective that you are stuck and you can't move on and you have to address some problems from your past in order for you to move into a beautiful, beautiful future. This card, synchronicity, when I asked about the death card, I asked what um, is the root of the death card? What, what's happening? And synchronicity, synchronicity came out. Let's read it. It is, I think, the root of this whole reading, okay? Synchronicity. This card number 87. This card indicates a need to have faith in the universal order of events, even in the midst of hopelessness and uncertainty. There is no such thing as an accident or a coincidence in the universe, and the perfect people and opportunities will appear mir miraculously when least expected. Even when you can't logically comprehend how your dreams could possibly come true, you must trust in the magical power of synchronicity to deliver what you need. Remember, it isn't your job to know how things will unfold. It's simply your job to believe and know that all is well. The hows, whens, and whos lie in the hands of the divine. But once you surrender to the outcome, you are shown the next logical step. In order to improve your current situation, you're being asked to adjust to and harmonize with the natural rhythm and cycles of your life. Cycles that are encouraging you to trust in the power of synchronicity. By living in constant alignment with source through positive thoughts, emotions, and prayer, you will automatically attract miraculous synchronicities into your life. Beautiful. And that is the transformation that's trying to take root in the death card. But you're so locked down on self-protection that you, you, you just don't even, you, you're not even receptive to it. Spirit's trying to deliver awesomeness into your life, Taurus. It is your duty as a spiritual person. And if you weren't spiritual, we wouldn't be doing a tarot card reading right now. It's your duty as a spiritual person to be receptive to the ebb and the flow that the universe brings into your life. There is soulmate, a soulmate person. I cannot say it's soulmate love, okay? Because very few and far between are two soulmates on the same rails headed in the same direction. But there is a soulmate journey that is about to manifest in your life. It does not have to be a romantic kind of situation. You could be poised to meet a best friend or somebody that that is just part of your soul tribe that came here to walk this leg of the journey with you. But there's massive, massive transformation if you will just let your guard down and be open to receive. I hope this helped somebody. If you want me to read your cards, you can reach me at thegypsypsychic.com. It's the only way to schedule a reading. Namaste.